Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number three. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use an HTML validator. So whenever you're following along with my tutorials and you're so confused because nothing's working and like you think you typed the exact same thing as me, but it's just not working and you don't know why, then <laughs> that's when you use an HTML validator. Uh, I know sometimes people like to panic and act like it's the end of the world because they think they typed the exact same thing as me, but there was like a silly little mistake somewhere. Uh, maybe they forgot a closing slash uh, on a tag or something like that. So uh, in order to check for HTML errors, uh, we use this thing called an HTML validator. And uh, I've got the same document open as the previous tutorial but uh, what I wanna do now is actually validate this code because I think there might be an error here. And to do that, um, go over to your browser and you can Google HTML validator or you can go to this link, which I will leave in the description of the video. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and this is a website by W3C. Now. I won't go into too much detail about this, but W3C is basically the organization that is in charge of the standards for HTML. So uh, these guys are the ones who decide what is right when it comes to HTML and what is wrong. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd say you can at least trust their HTML validator because you know, they're the guys uh, who set this kind of rule. Um, so, uh, do, do your homework on them if, if you're interested, but I want to uh, validate my file. So I'm gonna go validate by file upload. You can also validate by URI, which means, I mean, you can like copy someone's uh, URL, paste it in here and check if there's any errors, um, you know. But for now, we are just working with the files on my computer, which in this case is this index file uh, that we created. So let me go ahead and uh, select that file on my computer. Uh, so in htdocs, h index.html, open that up and hit check. Uh, and so the validator is gonna run through the code on or in my file and find an error. For some reason, my internet is a little bit slow tonight, so just gonna have to deal with this. Okay, so uh, you'll see right now I have uh, one error in my document and the error is the character encoding was not declared proceeding using Windows 1252. So if you ever see that you've got an error, uh, you might wanna just copy and paste this into Google. Um, you will definitely find uh, a solution to your problem. There is no error um, that would be undocumented. So just go ahead and copy and paste the error into Google to find out what your problem is. In this case, I already know what my problem is. Uh, the problem is that the character encoding was not declared. Uh, so that is something that I need to jump back over to my document over here and just type in or add an extra tag. So a character encoding, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, basically just tells the browser what characters we're gonna be using on our website. Um, and by default, this has proceeded using Windows 1252. I don't wanna use that, I wanna use something called Unicode. Uh, and Unicode is just supposed to support all or most of the characters. It's like an, a new world standard to support most characters. So for example, things like uh, the O with the two dots above it, that O with the umlauts, uh, that may not be supported by some character sets, but then supported by others. Uh, so. Uh, the one that I want to use will support most characters. So to to uh, fix this error, I'm going to add in a meta tag. Uh, so I'm just going to type in meta and hit enter, and this is going to autocomplete a tag for me. Now there's a bunch of new stuff over here because we've got a meta tag, but then it's got this little extra bit of green information and an equal sign and some other information. Uh, so let me explain what this is, right? Uh, this entire thing is our tag. This thing over here is an attribute, right? So an attribute is a little bit of extra information um, that this tag can provide. 
and then we have an equal sign and then a value for the attribute. So in this case, our attribute is char set, which stands for character set. And we're setting our char set equal to UTF-8, which uh, basically is the code for Unicode. Uh, and this will now mean that our website can support uh, pretty much most characters uh, out there. Okay, so now that Unicode is well, now that our website is Unicode, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and come back over to the HTML validator. And then let me just check this one more time. And now you can see that we have no errors in our document. So uh, I have officially fixed my error by just adding in this little meta tag. And all websites are actually supposed to have a character set declared, so I should have already put this in in the previous tutorial, but I didn't, naughty me, and uh, now it's here, so we can continue, and I'll see you in the next video. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development, and they can teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field, and they'll do it within 12 weeks which I think is a rather impressive timeline. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Hey, thanks for staying until the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Now, while you're still here, there are a few things that you can do to help. First of all, if you haven't already, subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And if you wanna help me make more content more often, or if you feel that my content is just worth paying a little bit of money towards, you can check me out on Patreon. You can also check me out on social media. I will leave the links next to me. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.